Since being released from prison, Mike Tyson had won all three of his fights in dominating fashion, capturing the WBC heavyweight title by defeating Frank Bruno via third-round knockout. Tyson! Laying it on! Pouring it on! Down goes Bruno! Into the rope! However, Tyson would now have to deal with the WBC's number one contender, Lennox Lewis, who was guaranteed a title match against the winner of the Tyson-Bruno fight. Rather than face Lewis, Tyson paid Lewis $4 million in order to step aside and allow Tyson to face Selden for the WBA heavyweight title. September 7, 1996, would be the date where the two would finally meet for the WBA heavyweight title. This was the seek and destroy Tyson and he may have also sensed that Selden wasn't mentally strong and was very worried about this title defense. Fear has frozen too many of Tyson's opponents into statues unable to move, unable to box. Straight up up there. Now that's not... Oh, the first knockdown, I thought he missed the punch, said referee Richard Steele, who did not begin counting over the fallen Selden immediately, apparently thinking he had slipped. Nice long rest there, but he has felt... Back comes... A trademark Tyson left hook would land moments later and drop Selden for the final time. It's over in the first round! He made it to his feet, but when he tried to shake the cobwebs, he fell backwards into the turnbuckle, prompting Steele to call the fight at 149 of the first round. And the new WBA heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson!